All right, here we go. Why we stay in relationships beyond expiration. And a lot of us don't even know that there is an expiration date on it. Some are life lived and some are 30 days and some are 40 days, some are 10 years, 20 years. But why do we stay in them? It can be profession, intimate, it can be family. Well, many of us stay in them because we want to see success. Then there are some people that stay in them because of the um, congruency of toxicity. So you got to figure out if you're in it for success to overcome things or if you're in it for the toxic codependent issues that come up. How do you know if you're in it for success? You can know if you look back into your family and you've seen things that you didn't like in a relationship, such as your mother and father divorcing or in the professions, you see people always moving from job to job and you want to think over it because maybe you should be an entrepreneur. These are ways to know if you are trying to make a difference in the relationship, such as the divorce issues. You know, maybe it bothered you as a child and you want to overcome that. Or you might even been called by um, the Lord and, you know, you feel like you'll be, you know, an ambassador for the family to lead the family out of consistent divorces, you know. So how do you do this and how do you know when actually you have gained your success and the expiration has come? So some people will live out relationships and professions in a certain increment, but in most cases we we grow and we um, develop. And that means that if we're growing and developing, we have to be having a promotion in these areas, just like when we go to school. And so in school, we go from grade to grade, there's a test. Well, when it comes to life experiences such as um, intimacy, relationships, and family and professions, um, the scales are a little bit different. Professions, you can have promotions, right, that you can see. Some people are not being promoted because of the people that they work with, but they know they need to be promoted. So that means that you, even, you either got to look at, it is time for you to move from that uh, position um, or that company because you may have outlived it, or you could be looking at the fact that you need to become an entrepreneur. And these are ways to know when things don't fit, because some people will stay in things and they will fight, and they will be fighting with the expiration of a situation. So expiration means that it's outlived. Um, some relationships and um, even, um, you know, uh, marriages. Um, are outlived in the way that they were uh, practiced. Um, I talk to a lot of people and um, I work with a lot of people and the outlived aspects of a relationship um, that we deal with now is many people did not go into relationships with an agreement. And so at this time, um, whatever you base the relationship off of, is what it has been existing off of, which could be outdated. And that means that if you never put anything into it other than you wanted to be um, in a relationship, as, if it's marriage or partnership, and nothing is growing out of it, then that means that it could be at a stalemate, which means that it's expired. That doesn't mean that you have to um, exit it. It means that you, you and your partner have to come back to the table and start making an agreement. And that is especially if you never made an agreement on how you're going to progress in life together. Um, moving forward, expirations can tell us that um, we've been in a relationship too long as in abuse. Now, I can't make the dis decision for you. You know, some people do overcome abuse and they're able to live, but those people also need to go to counseling, the person that's abusing and also the person that's accepting abuse, because abuse comes out of generally something that we see in families or um, something that happened to us, codependency. Um, it's a toxic kind of situation. It can be verbal um, abuse. It can be physical abuse. Um, it can be silent abuse, emotional abuse, you know, 
Uh, if you're in a relationship where you are with a narcissist, people ghost you and they have gaslighting. These are things you have to look at. And the other thing is, is that if it's not setting with you, then again, you and your partner have to come to the table and make an agreement to make changes that's going to be conducive for you and that individual to be comfortable. Because if one person is comfortable and the other is not, it's an imbalance there. All right. So these are ways to know that there it isn't a need for an adjustment, a change, or ex, ex, you know, the expiring is there the way that it was or is. And you know, I'm going to put out there that um, I'm going to put a disclaimer on this because this is just information to um, help those who might be making decisions to know the way that they. Uh, might want to go, but innately, you have to make the decision for you. This is not me making a decision. A lot of times we don't have people to help us um, knowing to know where we are in life. And so some of us have experienced those things and we can give just a little bit of information to say, okay, um, you know, if you want to do personal coaching or if you need some mental health or behavior health um, um, coaching, you know, or um, therapist, then we can recommend you to that. But in no ways am I telling you that you need to leave your partner or the profession you're in. Um, one of the things is to realize the behaviors that we have and to help people to graduate from one behavior level to another. And that's what I've learned because I believe that um, I believe that relationships and professions can work without us actually having to leave um, each other or separate, but it's up to both parties. You see, um, I teach a shadow class and the shadow class has a lot to do with identifying what I see in a person, but it's magnifying towards me. A lot of us draw people to us because we have the same uh, likenesses. And um, a lot of times when we look at the person and we see, those likenesses, we don't recognize that we look the same or, or we're doing the same things. And we tend to um, say that the person is wrong when we're looking at them and seeing something that we do wrong. Another thing that I find in relationships is, is that there could be one um, who has created an autonomy for what is right. And that individual is not actually practicing what they are saying to the other individual about living right. I think that um, is an oxymoron. Whenever you find that people are telling you how to live, but they're not living that way, what you have is hypocrites and people that are wearing masks. Uh, behind the mask is a revelation of who they truly are. So in that with... Um, you know, explaining the expiration of a relationship, profession, um, intimate relationship. And again, sometimes you are going to um, have to put some boundaries and barriers on family that are not treating you right or um, where you feel like you're not uh, being heard or, um, yeah, just say treated uh, properly. Um, then you are going to say, possibly that you need a timeout. And that timeout is going to give you an understanding of how to go forward and um, them how to go forward and how to treat you. Boundaries are something that we all have to have. And in most cases, um, individuals that are codependent, they don't have them. And so expirations will come in situations and relationships because we don't have boundaries. All right, and so if you need any help, mental health, behavior, you can email me at ifwbuilders at gmail.com. Um, I have, you know, coworkers that do um, therapeutic uh, treatment and um, also those that do personal development and myself. And so um, I thank you for listening and tuning in and you guys be blessed. And remember that you are worth everything in the world be encouraged you know don't let anybody take your value from you and if you feel like you have no value then um email me so we can get you into that place where you feel valued okay uh, thank you and have a, a blessed day again